So today we will see another concept in computer graphics that is the illumination models. Okay. So the topics that I am going to cover in this video is what is a basic illumination model and what are the examples of the illumination models, the factors on which lightning effect depends and types of the illumination model. So now let's see what is this basic illumination models. Illumination model is also known as a lightning or shading model. At generally we used to call it as a lightning model or shading model. So mainly it is concentrating on the way the light is reflected, the way the model is showing appears, okay, the way the uh, we are observing that everything it's an illumination model. It is used to calculate the intensity of a light. The illumination models are used to calculate the intensity of light which reflects at a given point of surface so here a surface is there so the light is uh, affecting uh, incident on the surface so this illumination model so used to calculate the intensity of a light the intensity of a light which reflects at a given point of surface here light source are considered to be a point source calculations are completely based on optical properties of surface and the lightning condition. So whatever the calculations that the intensity of light calculations are going to be done, that is everything it's based on the optical properties of surface as well as the lightning conditions, how the lightning is appearing, whether it is that say image is appearing or the dark or the direct or indirect light is uh, reflecting. So that everything, the calculations are ba completely based on optical properties and lightning condition. Now let's see the examples of the illumination model. The examples of illumination models are metal surfaces, gold and silver coated surfaces. The light that reflects on metal surfaces is different as well as a gold and silver coated surface is also different. Everything based on the surface also the light that illumination will be different. So the examples of illumination models are metal surfaces, gold and silver coated surfaces. Now let's see the factors on which lightning effect depends. So on which factors this lightning is affecting. Generally there are three factors on which light effects depends. They are the first one is the light source. Let's talk about the light source. This is the first factor which effect uh, which lightning effect is depends. Light source. It is lightning light emitting source. Light emitting source or light source. This generally three types of light sources are present. One is point source, parallel source, distributed source. Suppose if you are talking about the point source, point source, this emits rays in all directions. So a point source that it emits the light in all direction. For example, we are considering a bulb, a bulb in a room. If you consider only a bulb in a room, it emits light in all directions. So here is only one point. It is emitting at one point and it emits the light in all directions. That is a point source. Okay. Now coming to the parallel source. So what is this parallel source? It can be considered as a point source. It is also considered as a point source which is far from surface. See that light that emits that object is far from the surface. Here is your surface a land so that object is far from the surface and it reflects the light so example is the sun that is a parallel sources it can be considered as a point source which is far from sources surface next is a distributed sources here the rays are originated from a finite area so the finite area only the finite area that we consider it as a tube light so the shape, their shapes, positions and electromagnetic spectrum determines the lightning effect. So the factors on which lightning effect depends is the light source. The second factor is the surface. The surface is also very important. What type of surface the light is reflecting? Okay, the light is projecting on what surface? Suppose a light falls on a surface, a part of it is reflected and a part of it is observed. So based on the surface also the light is reflected and the based on the surface the light is observed also. So surface structure decides the amount of reflection and the amount of absorption also. The position of surface and all nearby surface positions all also determines the lightning effect. So not only the light source from where the light is coming the light where it is reflecting is also important. So that is also one factor and next is the observer. I am the observer. So this is also the factor that affects the light. 
the sensor spectrum and observation position also affects the lightning effect now coming to the types of models types of illumination models first one is the amb ambient illumination so let us consider suppose let us consider you are standing on a road you are standing on a road facing the building okay facing the building with a glass in exterior so building is uh, with a glass exterior and the sun rays are falling on the building a sun rays are falling on the building so whenever a sun rays are falling on a glass exterior obviously it will reflects right obviously the light is reflects from it and falling on the object under observation so this technique you call it as a ambient illumination so in simple words we can say that ambient illumination is one where source of light is indirect so you are observing the light you are not directly seeing the sun's light you are observing the incident reflected light so sun rays are falling on the glass and the glass it reflects the light and you are observing that reflected light so that is a light is indirect here so that technique you call it as a ambient illumination so the reflected intensity i ambient of any point on the surface is calculated by using i ambient is equal to ka into ia where ia is the ambient light intensity and coming to the ka ka is a surface ambient reflective value of ka is varies from 0 to 1 okay now coming to the another technique uh, another model that is the diffuse reflection diffuse reflection it generally occurs on a rough or gray granary surface so diffusion reflection is occurs on rough surfaces so rough surfaces or grainy surfaces here the brightness of a point of reflection depends upon the angle made by the light source and the surface so the reflected intensity of i diffuse is calculated at the point of surface is i diffuse is equal to kd into ip into cos theta so that means kd into ip into in place of cos theta we are writing nl so what are these terms ip is nothing but the point point light intensity point light intensity see here ip is the point light intensity kd is the surface diffuse reflective and whereas kd varies from 0 to 1 and coming to the n n is nothing but the surface normal and l is the light direction so this is about diffuse reflection and coming to the next one specular reflection when light falls on a shiny or glossy surface so i said so previously diffuse means rough or grainy and coming to the specular re reflection the light falls on a shiny or glossy surface most of it is reflected back only if the light falls on the shiny or glossy most of the light is reflected such reflections is known as specular reflections if you consider the form model it is an empirical model for specular reflection which provides a formula for calculating the reflected intensity so i specular is equal to w theta i l cos power n phi so where w theta is nothing but ks so l is the light of direction of light source so this is l is a uh, direction of light source and n is the normal to the surface and r is the direction of reflected ray and v is the direction of observer and f phi is the angle between l and r uh, theta is the angle between the l and r and phi is the angle between r and v so this is a formula you need to be remember if you want to calculate the specular reflection okay so this is about the illumination models uh, still if you are facing any doubts please let me know thank you